You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today we are bringing you an annual event that is something that's exciting every single year in, in the spring. We know it's spring when this event is happening. I happen to have with me Peter Krohn. Peter, welcome. Nice to see nice you to, back. Nice to be back. Thank you. Um, we're talking black and blues. I always love that name. Yeah. Um, hockey. You hockey. have an event coming up uh, not too far away in April. April 19th at the AZF Arena in Brockton. We're going to have the Brewers Alumni Annual Game. This will be our 24th meeting with the team. And uh, looking forward to having a great crowd as usual. And uh, we used to have a few of our games earlier in the season, but I don't know if you remember that April snowstorm. We had April Fool's Day several years ago. I was still on the job then. And we get, uh, had to do some fast snow plowing with some private contractors to get us in there. Well, we don't want any more snow. <laughs> no. we, we, I saw somebody posted something for April Fool's Day the other day, and uh, you know, like we were going to get another storm. Like we we haven't had enough. Yeah, this we haven't year, had enough. Right? So um, even though spring's around the corner, it's still a good time to go into a hockey rink. And why do you do this event every year? Why have you done it? You you said it, it's it's gone on for thirty two. You had a lot of fun with yeah. it, but for twenty four, it's for charity, right? It all goes to charity. It's a great time. Uh, I consider hockey to be the only civilized sport. It's always played indoors. Our fans never get cold, hungry, or wet. So it's, uh, you know, and if you do bang into somebody, you apologize. You know, perhaps not sincerely. <laughs> um, skate off smiling. Now, that is the case with your game, okay? Yeah. Hockey over the years has become, <laughs> you know, quite uh, the combative sport, um, professional hockey. But, yeah, but this is game. this is all good natured. This is yeah. good natured rivalry. So these are retired Bruins yes. alumni, yep. retired players. Okay, and law enforcement people. Yep. Okay, hence the black and blues, yes. so to speak. Yeah. Um, you've you've gone all over the place. You've gone to Russia. You've yeah. gone to Sochi. You've gone to Canada. Okay, yes. yeah. um, but you know, a lot of the people are right from around the area. Who, who are we going to get to see that day? You, you brought last year's book with you. Yeah, there's going to be quite a few of the players will be down. I know Andy Brickley will be there, Kenny Hodge. Uh, Rick Middleton runs the program. <clears throat> Bobby Coppin will be there. Uh, Songin is going to be there, Tommy Songin. There's going to be quite a few of them. Ken Lisbon probably show up. Billy O'Dwyer is always there. Uh, we have just have a good time. There's about uh, 12 of their players come down. They match with uh, 12 of our players. Mm -hmm. and it's all done for uh, charity. It's a good sport. Sitting down there and you see guys pushing each other and playing games on the ice, holding and grabbing and such. And we hope to have the clown referee there again this year. Oh, we're going to have that. He's an integral part of it. He, uh, he's supposed to be coming. It's a great show for the kids to see that. And I understand you have a, a famous person who is uh, singing the national anthem, Yes, correct? we have uh, Renee Rancourt. He and I have uh, become good friends over the years. Same with and uh, he just enjoys coming to Brockton. He'll be singing around here different occasions, but he enjoys the hockey games. He's a rendition of O Canada and the national anthem, and then he might sing some, a couple of other songs. If you're in the lobby, when Renee comes in, he'll entertain you all there in the lobby. He uh, just, just goes right to town. Absolutely. Now, um, players uh, from the Brockton area, um, not, not the <laughs> Bruins or the alumni, yeah. friends of yours, people that you've played alongside, I maybe all the 24 years, maybe 32, um, names that people might know. I mean, some of these people well, don't have got, a uh, fan following. Yeah, well, they probably do. I, don't, I know I don't, but uh, <laughs> we've got uh, six Brockton offices play with us at different times. Uh, I've got uh, Shane Canton will be there this year. He's a Brockton officer. Scott Morton's a sergeant from the Bedford Police. I recruited him right out of the police academy when I was instructor down there. Danny Tom is a sergeant in the state police uh, down at Bristol County. Steve Godfrey's a sergeant with the state police. Frank Walls is a trooper. Uh, Paul Let Letchie, he's a lieutenant in the state police. This will be his first year joining us. So we're gonna have quite a crowd there. Uh, we're gonna have Bobby Smith from the Rainham PD, Mike Savalli from the Rainham PD. Tommy O'Neill from Stoughton. So that this is what rounds us out to 12 players. Uh, the way the Bruins play the game is they have a two 25-minute period, so you don't want to come in with three lines and have the guys, you know, getting chilled down on the bay on the uh, bench. I, got I just got chilled down on the bench in the Irish games in Boston. We had a 11:30 game with the Swiss national or the Swiss state police team. We met in Russia, and they come over here, and then we had a two-hour break between them and our next game with the uh, ice, and uh, I got a little bit chilled there and. Two days after the tournament was over, I had a little bout of asthma, but uh, recovered from that nicely. 
Um, so you get a mix of people that are playing a while and new players. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming families come for you know all of the different we have, families. We have a great. We have a pretty good showing. Uh, there's usually between five and eight hundred people there. We have a. Uh, the veterans come in from the hospital, they usually get bussed down. We always let those fellows in for nothing, the fellows and girls. And so it's just a good, wholesome entertainment. There'll be a few police officers on duty volunteering their time, mm -hmm. which is always a nice thing. And it, uh, it all goes to the uh, ultimate goal of just having a good time in the city of Rockton for the time being. Now, we also know that um, professional sports, even college sports, a lot of money enters the picture, okay? What you do is you keep the cost low, yes, and yeah. you're a charity, unlike some of the charities that call you <coughs> up and solicit, that give pretty much 100% back. You, yeah. you, don't, you don't have an overhead for the organization. Not really. We, have, uh, we just have to pay for the ice, things like that. We always make donations to the local charities. And we've raised uh, quite a substantial amount of money over the years. More than a half million dollars has gone to charities. We started out, uh, we just will give awards, like, to different people of families that have a need, uh, maybe they have a child in a crisis situation, things like that. We always give to the medical missions for children, which are Brockton-based doctors for the most part who go around the world doing uh, cleft lip and facial reconstruction. We give quite a bit to uh, Massasoit Foundation and we give to uh, Liver Foundation. And I've got probably been more than uh, 100 charities we've donated to and a great majority of them are right in the Brockton area. And then I know you've given money to Brockton Rotary to yeah, we've so done the Rotary. gives out money to yeah. other charities as well. Yeah, we've done quite a bit with the Rotary Club. And so what? How do people get tickets? Do they buy them at the door? Do they get them ahead of time? Do you have a phone well, number, uh, website, whatever? Well, the best bet is just to get them at the door now because of the time limit. There'll be plenty of tickets available. The rink has a capacity of uh, I think it's uh, about a thousand people, and uh, we always have the special handicap accesses available. There's plenty of uh, restrooms and facilities, and the kitchen at the uh, rink will be open for people that want to buy snacks. And it's the best buy in town. If I remember right, on the ticket, you have a cost of the ticket, but I think it's a family ticket, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we uh, we ask people to come and enjoy it. You know, we don't want to charge everybody for full price if they have a family of 25 people or friends of 25 people. We'll let teams in and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And if they're interested in that, just uh, contact someone on the team, and we'll see them at the gate. Okay, um, is, and do you, does your group, other than the players and stuff, do you use volunteers? Do you have people that help out the organization to promote things, to do things, or yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty much, uh, you know, pretty located? The biggest, the biggest volunteer is my wife. If I didn't mention that, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Uh, my wife, and then we have the families come out, and uh, we have about seven volunteers that help us out, and that's really all you need. Uh, we'll take a once in a while, a player's son or daughter to run the light for a score a goal mm -hmm. and put the red light on. We're the uh, gracious guests, so we go somewhere, we pretend uh, you know, that we can't play hockey, and we usually have a good time, we don't win. And we bring guests in like the Bruins team. We're going to let them win again this year. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to recap the date. It's, uh, it's a Sunday, Yes. April 19th, 5 p.m., AZF Arena right here in Brockton, which is a regional arena. Everybody knows it. Um, very low cost ticket and come out and have a whole heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, the puck um, drops at five. If people get there between uh, 4 30 and on, there'll be uh, plenty of ample room for them. Well, Peter, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. And we wanted to get the word out. We'll be there, but it's better to be there in person. Yeah. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.